Welcome to the Gist on Court channel where we share only positive news. Please do well to subscribe and turn on your notification. established protocol. My name is Paula Peace James Okoro. Greetings everyone, distinguished guests, faculty, friends, our loving families and well-wishers, and of course the beautiful and stunning graduates. Or oh, let me say graduates. Dear class of 2020, today marks the commencement of a new chapter of our lives. Our journey in Covenant University was no walk in the park. We were presented with challenges we had to overcome. We have been made to understand the great importance of spirituality, a core precept for success in life. Seeing the four walls of this chapel more times than I can count brings back memories of important life lessons that we have been taught. We made lots of sacrifice, exercised diligence in our academic pursuits, breaking our backs to attend eight to seven classes, complete numerous simultaneous assignments, and spending several hours in the library. Through the impactful university-wide courses, our capacities have been built, and we know that with the ICANN mentality, anything we want to achieve is possible for us. We have built strong, even lifelong relationships and friendships, and have bonded through great times and tough times. We survived the COVID-19 pandemic, and we are here today celebrating the end of an unforgettable journey and the start of a new one. Our hearts are with those whom we wish could be here with us today, but have been called home. Thinking back, looking at how far we have come, I can say, and I believe that we can all say, that these experiences teachings and investments have shaped us to become powerful, intellectual, and responsible men and women of value who have the capacity to change our world and leave great footprints on this earth. This is because important life values have been seeded in us and we have been equipped with world-class education that not only enlightens but empowers. We are grateful that we passed through this path. Class of 2020, we are undoubtedly unique and special. The fact that we made it here today is a testament to our perseverance and commitment to excellence. Every one of us is destined for greatness. No setback can change the power that we hold. Smith Wigglesworth said, great faith is a product of great fights. Great testimonies are the outcome of great tests. Great triumphs can only come out of great trials. As we go into our world, we will remember that we are powerful and we will use the values that have been inculcated in us to do great things and impact our world. A wise man once said that to leave a legacy and to achieve greatness is not just to get money and recognition. No, it is to leave those with whom we have crossed paths with a little more happiness and hope. We will spread the love of God wherever we go and live as generational leaders. The desire to reach for the stars is ambitious, but the desire to reach hearts is wise, so we will strive to reach hearts. My fellow graduates, let us remember this. We can make the impossible possible. We can do anything. I personally remember my first days in Covenant University, in, first, in 100 level first semester. I made a decision that I wanted to graduate as the best graduate student from Covenant University in my set. I put in the hard work. It wasn't always easy. To be honest, that first semester, when my result came out, I thought it wasn't going to be possible. I was actually sad, but I didn't let this get to me. I didn't let, let it weigh me down. I put the goal in mind. I continued to put, on, put in the hard work. I spent several hours in the library to Jackson and my classmates started calling me librarian. But here I am today, standing as the BGS of our set. This is a product of the hard work that I put in, words of encouragement from friends and family, and, oh, the faithfulness of God. So keep this in mind. You can achieve anything. Desire it, pursue it with passion, and you will accomplish it. Put your faith in God, most importantly. This speech will not be complete without expressing heartfelt gratitude to those who made it possible for us to be here today. 
to the visionary of this great institution, Dr. David Oyedeposa. Thank you for yielding yourself to be used by God to raise the next generation of godly leaders. We love you, sir. Thank you, faculty and staff, for your support and guidance that has helped shape us into who we are today. Thank you, our dearest chaplain, Pastor Kaya De Martins. for being so patient with us and for sharing with us lifelong lessons. Thank you to our families by blood and by love for your love, support and care and for the investments that you've put in us, that you've made in us, that has molded us into who we are today. I especially want to thank my family, the best in the world. Thank you mom for always sharing me on and taking such good care of me. Thank you dad for your words of encouragement and wise teachings. Thank you both for always making sure I had everything I needed. Thank you, my dearest sister, for being a shoulder to lean on and for always giving me a listening ear. I really cannot thank you enough for your love and support. Thank you to my amazing friends and classmates, the Department of Biochemistry, for being, for being great companions on this journey. We made it. I also want to thank my wonderful supervisor, Professor Ogunlano, for your guidance and tutelage. She's just the best. Finally, and most importantly, thank you, God, for the grace to be here alive and well. Thank you for taking us through this path and for how far you have brought us. Thank you for making it possible for me to stand here today. I desired it, and you made it a reality for me. I owe it all to you, God. Thank you for your unending grace and the love you offer us all. To you alone be all the glory. As I close, class of 2020, spread your wings and soar. World changes. The world is waiting for us. In fact, they are not ready. Congratulations. Thank you. Please put your hands together.